John Perillo with Scott Smith here, and yes, Scott stood up on this one. It's not that I'm that short, it's actually he's pretty tall. Actually, I'm 5'7", Scott's 6'4", so he's a big boy. Here's another apparatus we built. Now, you can do this, you can hold a bar on the floor and try it like that, but we built this to, uh, to actually be able to work just some specific muscles and stops. Now, realize when you're, when you're golfing, or twisting the hips. If you ever watch Tiger Woods, when he's done, his hips are all, all the way around, okay? It's the muscles that are turning this are your hip rotators. Now, there's six little muscles in, down in your, in your hips that rotate your hips. So, this is an exercise we do both for, both to work the, the swinging motion and the back fall and the counterbalance, and you can also do this another way to work hip rotator. So show him how you do it to work your hip rotator. Now he's holding the weight right in here and he's just going to rotate his hips. Now notice, notice his hips are rotating in this. This is working the hip rotators. Now it doesn't seem like there's a lot on there. There's about 80 pounds on there. It does take, it does take a bit of inertia to change that. Now we can actually load this up and put a lot more weight on here and then when he does his counterbalance, go ahead and just twist like this. You might think these, these are easy, but if you really swing this, about 20 of these is pretty hard. Now, you can do this with more weight. We can actually add weight up higher on it for a little more inertia. But this is, see, this, this is not only working the hip rotators, it's working all the muscles in his back, too. And it's helping with what's called the counterfall, the counterbalance when he swings. When you get the club out in front of you, you've got to you got to get enough weight back to balance that out. So this is something you practice for your motor counterfall. Okay, so this is another thing we use. Oh, Scott is Perillo certified, and actually he does train other golfers here. Now he trains them. He doesn't for some reason he he doesn't train them to hit the ball quite as far as he does, but he trains them to hit it pretty damn far. Now we'll show you another exercise we use with Scott, and I'll be that ball out there to a four or five hundred yard line. 